Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about how to perform bias and linearity study. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. What is bias? Bias is the difference between the observed average measurement and a true value or reference value on the same characteristic on the same part. Mathematically, the bias equals the observed average minus reference value. How to determine reference value? A reference value, also known as the accepted reference value or master value, is a value of an artifact or ensemble that serves as an agreed-upon reference for comparison. Accepted reference values are based upon the following, determined by averaging several measurements with a higher level such as metrology lab or layout equipment of measuring equipment. Legal values, which are defined and mandated by law. Theoretical values which are based on scientific principles. Assigned values which are based on experimental work, supported by sound theory, of some national or international organization. The difference of bias throughout the expected operating measurement range of the equipment is called linearity. Linearity can be thought of as a change of bias with respect to size. In other words, linearity assesses how consistently the gauge measures across the reference values. When to use a bias and linearity. Bias and linearity used to assess whether the gauge has consistent bias throughout the operating range. Furthermore, Bias and linearity is used to assess whether a gauge requires recalibrating because of unbiased measurement. Method of performing bias and linearity study. 1. Select g greater than equals 5 parts whose measurement, due to process variation, cover the operating range of the gauge. The availability of samples over the entire operating range is very important for proper analysis. 2. Have each part measured to determine its reference value. A reference value is the known standard measurement of the reference part. 3. Have each part measured m greater than equals 10 times on the subject gauge by one of the operators who normally use the gauge. One operator should perform all the measurements. For example, the product development engineer wants to evaluate the bias and linearity of the gauge. He selects five parts whose flatness measurements span the operating range of the gauge. He measures each part 12 times. Next, I am going to show you the steps of performing bias and linearity study using Minitab software. Select Stat, Quality Tools, Gauge Study, Gauge Linearity and Bias Study. Complete the following steps to specify the data for your graph. In part numbers, enter part. In reference values, enter reference. In measurement data, enter flatness. Click OK. Next, I will explain about the result of linearity and bias. Regression line. The scatter plot shows the reference value on the x-axis versus the bias on the y-axis. For each reference value, the blue circles represent the bias values, and the red squares represent the average bias value. Linearity. To assess linearity problems, use the slope of the linearity line. The linearity problem is high due to the slope of the line not close to zero. For the measurement system linearity to be acceptable, the bias equals zero line must lie entirely within the confidence bands of the fitted line. In these results, the p-value for the slope is 0.015 which is less than or equal to alpha 0.05. It indicates that the slope is significant and that linearity is present in the measurement system. Because the linearity is statistically significant, you must use individual bias values and not the average overall bias value. Bias. In these results, the p-values vary from 0.000 to 0.704. Because linearity is present, Interpret the bias p-values for the individual reference levels only, and do not use the overall average bias value. Reference values 26.9661 and 27.7713 have bias since the p-value is less than alpha equals 0.05. In summary, the measurement system shows significant bias with linearity problems. 
The bias in the measurement system may be caused by various factors, including, errors in the reference value. Incorrect calibration of the gauge. Different measurement method, setup, loading, clamping, technique. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.